About a week ago, we saw Kura Games release a survey where they asked us what animes from a list we'd heard of and what ones we've seen. This has got some people talking about if Kuro was thinking about a potential collab in future. And I already mentioned in a previous video back in 1.0 that I wanted to talk about potential collabs and my desire to see Kuro bring Alpha from PGR over to Wuthering Waves. However, I didn't want to make that video back then because it was very early in the game's life. So it would have been jumping the gun a bit to start talking about collaborations, not even a month after the game's release. But now, Wuthering Waves came out nearly four months ago, so it's likely that Kuro is starting to consider a collaboration, probably not in the near future. No, 2B, I'm not talking about you yet. So not in the near future, but potentially sometime in the next year. Just for reference, Punishing Grey Raven's first collaboration was with Near Automata on the 8th of January 2021, a little more than a year after its initial release. So we are pretty far off seeing a collab, at least for a while. However, I have a couple of ideas for different properties that I would like to see Kuro collab with in Wuthering Waves. One of which I would really want to see, but it's extraordinarily unlikely for multiple reasons. I'll state this before we get started with my list. I don't have insider information or leaks, so everything I'm going to say in the video is not even speculation. It's purely me talking about collab ideas that I've been thinking of or would like to see potentially come to the game. So let's go through some of the ideas that I have. The first collaboration is a very obvious one, Genshin Impact. <laughs> Just kidding, the actual first game is Punishing Grey Raven. Since PGR is Kuro Games' other title, I imagine creating lore for both games to explain how they're being connected would be relatively easy, and being owned by the same company, there wouldn't need to be a lot of cross-management to connect them. We could see a collaboration between the two games around Wuthering Waves' anniversary, we could see it around PGR's anniversary, but since the anniversary for both games would typically be focused around that game, another good time Kuro could potentially cross them over could be around Kuro's anniversary for when they started as a company. In my mind, doing a big crossover between properties that you own would double as a good way to celebrate your company's anniversary with the players. If they were to do a collaboration like this, they could also connect them directly where you would be able to connect both of your accounts in both games and when you do your dailies in Wuthering Waves, it gives you your daily rewards in PGR and vice versa. So throughout a collaboration event, you would get double daily rewards each day if you play both games. This probably wouldn't work since PGR Global is still about a year behind CN, but it would be cool if they could make it work somehow. However, I don't really care how or when they do it. I just want to see some of the characters from PGR like Alpha, Liv, Wanchi, Bianca, Vera, Number 21, and lots of other great characters like Alpha. Now, I'm totally not biased towards Alpha at all, but let's be real. Who doesn't want a strong badass waifu with long white hair, two swords, one of which is an Odachi, rides a motorbike, and gives you that look that says, I will fuck you up. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. Now don't get me wrong, I would like to see normal Lucia, since she is actual canon wife, but the god at the beginning of Wuthering Waves is basically her, so we kind of already have a Lucia in the game, she just isn't the focus of the story yet. Given how similar the universes are, the fact that they're both created by the same company, and PGR having some of the coolest characters in gacha games that I've ever seen, Wuthering Waves getting an alpha collab, sorry, a punishing Grey Raven collab, is pretty high on my list of what I would want to see. However, Kuro might actually have a plan in the story to connect the games later on, so an early connection might fuck up them being able to do it, or they might just continue to make characters that are similar to characters from PGR in the same way that Genshin and Star RL did with Honkai Impact. However, if that's what they want to do, I really hope that they start doing skins for those characters, like a Lee skin for Shang Liao or a Vera skin for Yin Lin. The second collab I would like to see in the near future, yes 2B, we're talking about you now, is a near collab. No matter how you look at it, whether that's loving the idea of characters like 2B, A2, or 9S becoming playable characters, or whether you think the near universe is like a dead horse that's constantly being beaten with collabs, the characters from the near universe not only never disappoint, 
but would also fit into the world of Wuthering Waves. It could not only bring some cool characters over, but also some cool enemies. Some of which are big enough that they could be the first raid type boss that we actually fight together in co-op. However, no matter how they choose to do it, I would love to see a near collab. It has great lore, great characters, great gameplay, and it wouldn't look out of place. Not only that, like I said, Kuro has collaborated with Nier previously in PGR, and for anyone curious about how the Nier characters played in PGR, I'll leave a link to a video in the description. One thing I'll quickly mention, it's a shame Nier Reincarnation shut down. I never got around to playing it, but some of the lore it had on 10H was really cool, and I would have loved to see a collab where we got her as a playable character. Unfortunately though, that's likely not to happen. Next, I was pretty torn on trying to pick between a few games, but the one I decided on was Tales of Arise. It's a really cool game that has some great main characters, weapons, enemies, and potential skins that we could see added into Wuthering Waves. The characters are all very cool, and they do have a more medieval vibe, which doesn't really match Wuthering Waves, but the game has some amazing visuals and really flashy ultimates, or what the game calls mystic arts. It also does something Wuthering Waves currently does do but doesn't do at the same time and that's team combo attacks. Wuthering Waves has intro and outro skills but Tales of Arise reminds me of how Aether Gazer worked where some ultimates would change based on who else was in your team. A Tales of Arise collab could bring characters whose intros and outros synergize with each other and have a unique intro skill animation based on who you switched off. Another benefit of this collab is a lot of the enemies in the game would also fit pretty well, potentially bringing some cool echoes for us to obtain as abilities. If you're interested in seeing some of the animations that I'm talking about, I'll leave some videos in the description. The next option is my personal favourite, but it's further down on the list since it doesn't have as much to offer as some of the other options, and that is a Monster Hunter collab. Now, the big problem with this collab, since Monster Hunter typically allows you to create your own character, there isn't a lot of options for limited characters that Kuro could sell to us. But what it does have is armor sets. So instead of characters, we could get some skins like a Rathalos armor set for Rover, and you could farm that skin throughout the event by hunting Rathalos. Not only that, in Monster Hunter, they funnily enough have some pretty cool monsters we could get as both bosses and echoes. I don't know about you guys, but I would love to have a Rathalos summon echo that shoots a massive fireball at the enemy, and if they were to collab with Monster Hunter Wilds, we could also get the new Wyvern Ray Dow as an echo that nukes an enemy with a lightning railgun attack. This is easily the collab I would like to see the most, however at the same time there are a few reasons why we likely won't see a collab like this. Firstly, the first collab in Wuthering Waves should bring over playable characters which Monster Hunter has a lot less of, unless they brought over this one. Second, the Monster Hunter games are not in the same style, so Kuro would have to somewhat reimagine the monsters they would want to bring over to make them suit the anime style of Wuthering Waves. And lastly, if they wanted to bring over some of the weapons from Monster Hunter, a lot of them are far too big and bulky to match both the style and weapon types in Wuthering Waves. So as much as I would like to see this, it's probably not going to happen. The last idea is going to be a collection of titles since they're all going to be properties that are animes and not games. Reason for this is I always like when games collab with other games, but when games collab with animes or shows, I don't mind it, but I typically don't care as much. However, this is just my personal preference, so let's talk about some options anyway. When it comes to animes, I would rather see characters that look like they somewhat fit into the world of Wuthering Waves. I think some animes like the Fate series, Akame Ga Kill, even Gellion. Tight, 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 yeah! These animes have some really great characters that would fit pretty well into the world and not look that out of place. It'll never happen, but I would personally love to see an Akame Ga Kill collab. It's one of my favorite animes of all time, and I'd love to see some of the characters like Ezdeath, Akame, Tatsumi, Mine. In fact, I'd love to see any of them in Wuthering Waves. However, Ezdeath would definitely be at the top. But I don't think I've ever seen a collab with Akame Mega kill ever, so this feels like it's off the drawing board. I would, however,
however, add animes like One Punch Man to the list, provided they didn't make characters that are really strong playable like Saitama, since him getting one shot by Tempest would just completely shatter my immersion. However, getting characters like Genos, Tatsumaki, Fubuki, I think those characters would be fine and they'd fit pretty well into the game. You could even have some enemies like Mosquito Girl or Rover, whatever the dog's name is. You could bring them over as new bosses to fight and obtain them as Echoes. I think that would be pretty cool. There are a load of other options I would like to see like God Eater, Final Fantasy 16, Code Vein, but for the sake of not talking for hours on end, I'll stop myself here. But having said that, I might be way off with my suggestions and Kuro might end up collaborating with like Space Marine 2. Or maybe they'll collab with Horizon Zero Dawn and they'll actually make Aloy good. Wouldn't that be funny? However, no matter what collab we may get in future, it likely won't be for a while yet. The game isn't even half a year old, so even though Kuro might be putting out feelers to gauge what the community is interested in, we really shouldn't be considering anything until a bit further down the line. Also, in my opinion, the reason Kuro is asking what type of animes we're interested in is more than likely to gauge what sort of content the players would like to see from the story. So if you're convinced that the survey was Kuro thinking about a collab, you could be right, just don't get your hopes up. One thing I will say though is if a collab brings an echo with it, that echo or that fight needs to be permanent. Limited collaboration characters going away after an event is fine, everyone expects that, but echoes being impossible to farm after an event is gone is not a good idea in my opinion, unless what they want to do is make it so that the echo isn't farmed and is instead a one-time reward given to the players after beating the fight and comes with guaranteed stats so it doesn't differ between accounts. So out of the properties that I mentioned in order of which collab I think would be the best for the game and for players, the order would be Nia, Punishing Grey Raven, Tales of Arise, any anime that's similar to Wuthering Waves in either style or feel, and then last would be Monster Hunter. Since even though it's my personal favourite and Capcom loved collabs in World, I don't think a lot of the community would like to see a Monster Hunter collab over something else. However, I would also like to hear from you guys, so be sure to give your own opinion down in the comments and let us all know what you would like to see collaborate with Wuthering Waves. If you enjoyed the video, you can leave a like or a comment, and if you would like to see more content in future, you can subscribe to the channel. But that will do it from me, so I hope to see you in the next video, and I'll catch you later.